Hi creators. This is um, today's book. It is about the African Savannah and it's called Bringing the Rain to Kapiti Plain. And this is the Great Kapiti Plain, all fresh and green from the African rains. So in this book, we're going to see the animals that you would find on the African savanna. I think it's a non-detail. Bringing the rain to Kapiti Plain. Retold by Verna Ardema. Okay. <clears throat> this... This is the great Kapiti Plain, all fresh and green from the African rains. A sea of grass for the ground birds to nest in and patches of shade for wild creatures to rest in. With acacia trees for giraffes to browse on and grass for the herdsmen to pasture their cows on. But one year, the rains were so very belated, belated means they were late, that all of the big wild creatures, they migrated. You guys remember what it means to migrate, right? That means to move from one place to another. Then, Keepot helped to end that terrible drought, and this story tells us how it all came about. So, Keepot is the person that ends the drought, and drought is when there is no rain for a long, long time. This is the cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on the Kapiti Plain. There's an ostrich right there. And a cheetah or a leopard. And a big, heavy gray cloud. This is the grass. All brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on the Kapiti Plain. These are the cows, all hungry and dry, who mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass, all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is Keepot. There he is. Keepot, who watched the herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass, all brown and dead. They needed the rain from the big cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. What do you think this is? It's a fowl. This is the eagle who dropped a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Keepot, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Keepot, 
There he is, standing on one leg, and there's the feather. Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This is the arrow Keepot put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather. From the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Keepot, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. This, you guys know what this is? This is the bow. So long and strong and strung with a string, a leather thong, a bow for the arrow that Keepot put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Keepot who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead, the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. What's he going to do? Hmm. This was the shot that pierced the cloud and loosened the rain with thunder loud. A shot from the bow, so long and strong and strung with a string, a leather thong, a bow for the arrow, key pot put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather. From the eagle who happened to drop the feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Keepot, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like the big stork bird. Keepot, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Kapiti Plain. Do those cows look happy or what? <laughs> <clears throat> so the grass grew green and the cattle fat and Keepot got a wife and a little Keepat. Here he is. Who tends the cows now and shoots down the rain when black clouds shadow the Kapiti Plain. Do you think that is a true story or a pretend story? Do you think it's fact or fiction? You guys remember that fact is something real and fiction is something that is not real. So fact could be the cows could have been really thirsty and the grass was probably dry, but can you shoot an arrow into a cloud and make it rain? Is that fact or fiction? That would be fiction because that can't really happen. So anyway, lots of African animals on the savanna in this story. I hope you guys liked it. Okay, I'll read you again soon. Bye.